everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. So today I have Becky Lynn with me, and we are doing Theme Thursday. And Theme Thursday is Summer Picnics, and then the alternative is Bugs. And I am going to be doing the, uh, the alternative, and um, my bugs are going to be butterflies. And so um, I wanted to bring Becky Lynn back on again because she's my newest and um, I haven't really um, gotten a chance to dress her again. And so I wanted to bring her back on and um, get her into a different outfit. And I also have something um, really fun to share with you uh, today about Frankie. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And I will show you what we're changing her into. This is her butterfly outfit. Now, um, this outfit actually comes with um, matching little pants. But I'm not going to be using those today. I'll show you what I'm going to be using instead. But there's her little butterfly, her little bug. That's a onesie. And then I thought it would look really super cute with this, um, this pink tutu with hearts all over it. I thought that would be a, a cute combination for her. And then um, for her accessories, she'll be wearing these uh, darling little um, uh, tutu, uh, tutu socks. They look like little uh, Mary Janes with straps. They're super, super cute. And then this pretty pink bow which matches her tutu perfectly. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll tell you about my busy day. <laughs> um, I have had a busy, busy day, you guys. Uh, I decided that today was going to be the day that I uh, let Frankie play in the kitty yard, um, which is uh, fully, fully enclosed. So, but I had a lot of work to do before I could take him up there um, because, you know, the kitties you, uh, use the yard as their potty and the, uh, the plants were overgrown and stuff. So, um, so I went up there and I used my weed eater and um, it wasn't very hard to do at all because um, the, the, um, the weeds that are growing up are really like delicate weeds where I could, I could have actually just broken them all off, you know, um, by hand, but, um, I thought it'd be quicker to do, um, use the weed eater. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm just looking at this little girl and she is just adorable. She is precious. I mean to say she is precious. Um, gosh, Sandy Faber, um, really hit it out of the ballpark with this sculpt. She really did. And this one, she definitely has uh, blue-green, I mean, gray, gray, uh, blue-gray eyes. They're just gorgeous, just gorgeous. But um, I just had to stop and <laughs> I haven't seen her um, since I changed her last because, you know, all my baby dolls stay here in the farmhouse and then I'm over at the... Um, at the you know the cottage and so um i guess i do kind of sneak in every day and take a peek at them but uh this is the first time that i really had a chance to look at her again um since i first got her and so it's i'm very very pleased um with her and also with how um, her artists um, did her she's just um, unbelievably uh, adorable. So I hate to cover this cute little body up, but I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and put this um, outfit on. It says it's a size three months. She's a newborn, but so it's going to be a little bit big, um, probably around the neck and the length, but around the neck, it doesn't matter with her because, um, she does not have a cloth body. So, um, you know, whatever shows around her neck is going to be her vinyl, which is um, very nicely done. So anyway, getting back to my story with Frankie, um, I cleaned up the yard for him and uh, got it all prepped and ready. And then I um, 
I, I have a carrier, a small carrier. It's like a, a cat or a bunny or a dog carrier. Um, and I brought the carrier into the cottage and I put him inside of it. Um, I let him, you know, walk around it and get used to it first. Um, you know, I didn't want, I, I wanted him to kind of ease into it. So, um, he never did jump inside. And so, um, what I did was I picked him up and, um, put him inside of it and closed the, the lid and, um, he was fine. You know, I'm sure that he was a little bit scared, but he didn't, he didn't, uh, chirp and make a lot of big noises like he was scared. You know, I think, um, because he's, he's pretty confident around me, you know, cause I've, I've always taken such good care of him, but so yeah, then I carried him up to the um, to the kitty yard, and uh, the minute I opened the the door of the carrier, he just jumped right out, and then he was like in amazement. <laughs> he was totally in amazement. Um, he didn't know what to do with himself. Uh, he just kind of walked around and pecked at the ground, and um, he found bugs. He um, which is uh, I was going to say. Frankie is part of our theme Thursday because he he found um, ants and he found uh, two centipedes to eat and uh, I found a big fat worm for him to eat and so <laughs> I thought I would mention that because you know because our theme Thursday is is uh, the alternate is bugs so I thought that'd be kind of fun to mention but um, but yeah he had a really nice time I uh, I took a like a lawn chair up there and um, I sat down in the yard. It's totally enclosed. Um, even the top is enclosed. So uh, nothing can get in and nothing can get out. So um, what I'm going to do, I did take some video, um, uh, some video footage and I'll go ahead and put that at the back um, of the video at the end of the video so that you can um, see a little bit of what Frankie experienced today. So, um, uh, my garden is doing great. Uh, we're, we've been very fortunate in being able to keep uh, Naughty Peter Rabbit out. Um, ever since we put in that second fence, uh, fencing uh, all around the fence, um, he, ha he has not uh, gotten in. So um, that, you know, that really helps. All of our, our brand new green beans are popping up. You know, the ones that I planted whenever I uh, whenever I, um, weeded the garden and, and, uh, we put the fencing up and stuff, um, I planted some, I planted 63, uh, new bean seeds, so they're starting to pop up and, and the, the rabbits aren't getting to it, so, um, to me it seems like we've done the right thing. I think, uh, I think what we did was, um, was the right thing to keep, uh, Peter Rabbit out. Now, my, my husband had uh, heard of that idea from a neighbor that we used to have. Um, he also had rabbits in his garden, and he would put up that two feet of chicken wire all the way around, and that kept him out. And so that's where my husband had heard of that idea. So, um, but anyway, I think she's looking super, super cute. And look at these curls. Wowza. <laughs> oh, she's got gorgeous curls. I'm going to go ahead and put a little... Oh, right there, right there, right on her curls. So here she is, all dressed up for Theme Thursday, wearing her darling little butterfly outfit. It's got a little tutu going on, and um, there's her little, I'll show you her little tutu socks. There's her little tutu socks, and her little bow in her hair that matches her tutu, so... Anyway, everyone, um, this was short and sweet today. Um, it's kind of getting late in the afternoon, and I wanted to get this um, this video um, posted because it takes a long time to post, so um, to upload and stuff. So, anyway, I um, hope everyone's having a great day today. Happy Happy Thursday! Um, have a wonderful weekend, and until we meet again, bye bye. So this was Frankie's very first time to experience being outside. I've never taken him out of doors before, and um, so he was very uh, kind of cautious. He wasn't afraid. Um, he was just kind of cautious, and I totally expected him 
to like fly and um, you know like go in the dirt area and scratch around in the dirt but you know mainly what he did was he just uh, he picked um, you know picked up bugs things like uh, ants and um, let's see what else did he get oh um, centipedes and then um, I found a big fat worm for him to to eat and I mean he went for it he wasn't timid at all to um, to you know pick up all the bugs but yeah he he ate a lot of the greens and um, you know he he tasted different uh, different bits of the plants that were out there he uh, he some some of them he would eat the uh, some of them he would just kind of spit out <laughs> and uh, so he was really interesting to watch um, I had brought up my my little light camp chair and I was sitting in the camp chair um, recording you know his very first time out and so it was a lot of fun what I wanted to do here was just kind of show you um, you know how large his yard is it's totally enclosed and it's also enclosed on the top and so um, no, predators can't get in and he can't fly out and it's just to me it's just the perfect environment for him and so he's gonna have a lot of fun uh, when I take him out here in the yard today uh, I only let him stay about 45 minutes because um, he's never, you know, ever, ever had plants, different types of plants before. Oh, and that's the carrier. That's the carrier that I brought him out in. But uh, I didn't want him to get a tummy ache from all the different things that he wasn't used to eating. Um, usually, I, you know, he just has a strict diet of his, uh, his um, food, you know. So this was a very new experience for him. And... Uh, there he is. He's he's looking out at the road and trying to see above there. But yeah, um, I I thought it, overall it was a really good experience for him, and for me it was a dream come true. I have been waiting for this day that I could bring him out and let him just walk around freely out in the yard and peck around at the plants and scratch around in the dirt and um, just be out in the fresh air and so for me this was just a dream come true and um, I really enjoyed the day so it was really a, a positive experience for both of us. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed just watching him you know to see what he was going to do. I had no idea what he was going to do out there. I thought he was going to like rush around, run around, uh, fly, scratch in the dirt, but he didn't do any of those things. Um, he mainly was just uh, walking around cautiously like you've been seeing him and uh, just kind of picking up bugs. Like when you see him pecking the ground there, he's picking up uh, things like there's ants and whatever other little bug things that he's getting. But um, one little interesting fact that I don't know if you know that turkeys can see uh, eight times that of humans and so everything to him is super super magnified um, so that's how, you know how he's able to pick up the even uh, the minute little bugs that he's finding but um, anyway uh, this was a really good experience for both of us um, I really really enjoyed my time out with him and I hope you enjoyed seeing him too I just thought it was so interesting to see Frankie and his first experience uh, being outside. Anyway, everyone, thanks for stopping by, and until we meet again, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.